Today, I wanna to give you guys some tips for staying motivated and training through the winter season. In the winter, it's a little bit more of an injury risk time of year because it's colder outside, so your muscles are gonna be a little colder. You're a little stiffer maybe from running on some harder ice and snow, and there's always a little slippage. So you wanna make sure you get some mobility done before you get out the door. I always like to do maybe 10 or 15 minutes of strength and mobility pre and or post run. And I have a few moves that are specifically for me and my body, and if you can figure out what you need to work on before you run, it's a lot smoother to start with. First, I like to use a golf ball, lacrosse ball, or actual foam roller, and roll my planter, and also the inside and outside of my calf, and the front of my shins. Once that's all loosened up from rolling, I like to do some actual mobility exercises, just kind of going through dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of my ankle, and I like to use a rubber band or some kind of stretching rope to traction my ankle a little bit. That takes about five minutes, and it just gets my ankles warmed up and moving. Another favorite exercise is to just do some mobility drills as far as leg swings, high knees, I like to do hurdle stepovers, which you don't actually need a hurdle to do. It's just getting the motion. Five or 10 minutes of that before I head out the door and usually I feel more warmed up and ready to take on the elements. So one of the toughest parts about running in the winter are the shortening days. I run twice a day, so one of my runs is usually in the dark, but it's not an excuse to not get the run done. Some of my favorite tips are to run with a friend or a group. That way you feel more accountable when you meet someone and the run always tends to fly by. Your local Fleet Feet is another great resource for finding finding running events, running groups, and training runs you can meet other people for. You can also kind of establish one with your running buddies and maybe set a practice time to meet every day. I know, especially on the track workout days when you're pushing hard, it's a lot better of a workout and mentally it's a lot easier when I have uh, someone at the track with me, whether I'm chasing them or they're chasing me. Switch your run to the lunchtime run. Lunch is a good time to run with friends at work or a running group. Usually the conversations with a running group are pretty entertaining. That's always a fun time that makes the run fly by and usually it's the warmest time of day and uh, it's an excuse to sleep in a little and move your run from the morning to the afternoon. Another tip I like for those evening runs are to stay on sort of a smaller well-lit loop. I actually live right across the street from an outdoor track and even though that sounds kind of boring, I usually do my 30 minute second run on the track with my favorite podcast or my favorite winter playlist. Another great tip is to have a playlist that you like. That 30 minute run just flies by when you have your favorite podcast or your favorite winter playlist going. It's a lot less monotonous and it just goes by pretty quick. You also wanna find a reliable shoe to run in during the winter. My favorite go-to shoe at the moment for all weather is the Saucony Triumph 17. It's got neutral cushion, which is always my favorite type of training shoe. It withholds a lot of mileage. I've been wearing mine for a long time. So I know Saucony offers a really great range of trail shoes and Gore-Tex uppers that are great for the winter because a lot of the times the roads in the winter turn into more of a trail environment. They're slippery and lumpy and have a lot of snow and ice so some of those trail shoes where you can put screws in the lugs and just have really good grip actually become good winter running shoes. A lot of the times winter is the start of a new training cycle and um, depending on what you're training for your nutrition plan may also be changing. I know for me when I've done a spring marathon we start training in about January February time frame and so I need to really plan my nutrition for what I'm gonna do race day. And then if the winter months are a little colder and you need to practice taking drinks for what's going to be a warm marathon in April, um, you kind of need to plan that. And it might not feel natural to want to drink something when it's cold outside and you're not sweating much, but you need to get used to stomaching your favorite gel or whatever drink mix you're gonna be using on marathon day, if that's what you're aiming for. I'd say the other side of that plan is just making sure you're refueling well after the run. Everything is just a little slower in the winter as far as transportation, so make sure you have your recovery snack in the car. I like to usually have some kind of protein-carbohydrate ratio right after I do a long effort or a hard effort just to start the recovery right away. So I know that winter can be a tough time to stay motivated to run outside when it gets colder and darker, but there's no reason you can't still go after your winter and spring racing plans. Just stay motivated, meet up with some friends, and hopefully these tips can help you get out the door and stay fit during these months.